in this video, I'm going to show you the process I went through prior to making that last video. In, in the, my last video, I showed you how I'd gone in and used Snagit to uh, make a scrapbook of ads that I got off of Facebook from Facebook fan pages from other sorts of Houston beauty salons and uh, actually some national uh, chains and so forth. Uh, my process essentially, this I'm just going to use Google search tool and also um, Facebook search tool. There's other kinds of paid uh, spy tools and more elaborate ways that you can go in and find the exact ads that uh, different uh, fan pages are running on Facebook or that the competition is running in general or in different cities and so forth. But uh, in this case, I'm just going to uh, make a, a list of some local salons that might have Facebook pages, and then I'll go into Facebook and see if they have a page, and then show you how I, I get the ads. So here I've, I've started out in Google and uh, searched for Houston beauty salons. And as you can see, you know, it's maps that come up first. If you uh, click on more places, you'll see a whole list of 15 or 20 different uh, salons, you know, in their map. But uh, here, so I would actually go in and do that, make a list of different uh, local salons, and uh, particularly in the areas that you're interested in. But uh, what I, I noticed here, of course, was the first listing here is the best hair salons in Houston. And what I did, actually, I, I did a search. I mean, I saw this here on Yelp and went in and got a list of those. And then I also just did a Google search for best, best top 10 hair salons in Houston and uh, made another list. So uh, here I'm going to show you. Here, here I'm going to show you that list that I made. So here's a, uh, a text file showing, uh, you know, some things that I copied off of uh, both Google up here, and then you know some of the ones suggested by Yelp. Um, so, so in this case, um, I see here there's a shine in the heights. Let me copy that. And uh, I know that it has a fan page, so I'm going to go here on Facebook. And then in the search bar up there, I'm going to paste that Shine in the Heights. And uh, it's going to take you to one of their posts. And this is a featured post, so I guess this is an ad here. Um, actually, I'm going to click here, Shine in the Heights. It's going to take you to their fan page in general. And, uh, you know, I would normally like to go through here, check out what kind of ads, what kind of, here's a video, uh, look at the ads, look at how they manage the, the fan page. But to really see the different ads that they run, uh, I'd click here on posts. And I, th I think these are more or less chronological, but you know you can go through. Uh, some of these just look more or less like posts, but um, oops. Okay. Um, So here would be one of their ads, and you can see, um, first of all, that you know 27 people have liked it. That's a good sign, and um, it's um, you can it's actually this is for the Brazilian blowout special, which uh, I remember was an example of you know the one of the ads that I, I uh, captured in Snagit 
uh, for my scrapbook. But anyway, so I would go in here, open up this this page, the fan page, scroll down, find the different uh, posts that look like ads, and then uh, copy those, save them to a file, save them to a, fo a portfolio, and uh, go through and study them. Uh, I've already done that for you in the preceding video where you can just watch it and then pause, read the ad, and then go forward. Anyway, basically this is the, uh, the process that I've, I would use. I'd go back and, uh, you know, go to these different, uh, the different places to see if they first of all have, uh, you know, Facebook fan page by, you know, going to um, the search bar and typing in uh, whatever it is you're looking for. Go to their fan page and then go to posts and scroll scroll down and make notes and copy the different posts. Anyway, it's a pretty simple project. I mean, process that I use. Uh, they're more uh, elaborate paid tools, search tools, or um, spy tools that you know people use. But this is definitely a good way to get started.